is Village of Minerva Park Special Council meeting August 18th, 7 p.m. Um, this is going to be a little different than it typically is. Um, I'm just going to say that we were supposed to have a legislative meeting and due to an error, we're doing a special council meeting. So, roll call. Oh, I'm <laughs> Council President Wolf. Here. Council Person Cameron. Here. Council Person Brueger. Here. Council Person McNamara. Present. And Council Person Koss and Council Person Tresta are both excused. Um, we are going to go straight I in. I did not have mine off for roll call, so I'm going to do that. Yeah, well, we can do roll call again. That's fine. Do you want to? I was going to say it's sure. live on there, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. But are these where the transcripts come from? So it's Works for me. Yeah. Um, both. Let's do roll call one more time. Better to be safe than sorry. Council President Wolf. Here. Council Person Camera. Here. Council Person Brueger. Here. Council Person McNamara. Present. And Council Person Koss and Council Person Shrestha are both excused. And I did it in the same order that time. Here. Special meeting topics tonight. We have a couple items that we are going to go over, a little bit of legislation, um, as well as some information to get us prepared for Thursday night's council meeting. Next Thursday night's council meeting. Um, I'm going to throw this over to Mark and let, in case you have something you wanted to talk about as far as legislation goes. The only legislation that's on there, and of course, unfortunately, he is not here to, to advocate for herself, but I will advocate as best I can. Uh, I think we all know Council for the Trusta very much would like our leash law to be changed to just dogs must be leashed. Um, I am actually also at this point in favor of that. I have come around on it. Is there any other appetite for it? So I I still don't like the idea of just dogs must be leashed. Okay. So I, no, that's a no. Um, I would I would throw out there different language. Uh, in our email, we got an email from a resident who cited I think it was City of Columbus who instead of a reasonable control standard had a direct control standard and defined that fairly well. Okay. Um, and I think that adopting that same direct control standard, because it, it described what that direct control was, an event either on a leash or uh, that the, the responsible person could demonstrate that the animal responded to commands, right? And so, that that would be my preference because I think that if you make a an ordinance that says dog must be leashed, you create a number of un, unintended consequences, right? Or the potential for a number of unintended consequences. <coughs> so Daphne chews through her lead because she's done that before mm -hmm. and now runs away. And now you're strike one to three to a class F misdemeanor. Right for no no fault of your own, but that's what the ordinance is. She's neither in in reasonable control, and she's not on a leash. You know that that is an unintended con. And I know that the the desire to say yeah, but that's sort of a one off. No, I would say more the desire is to say I don't think any officer in the village, if they saw the dog running away from me as I chased with a broken leash, would say, excuse me, sir. Your dog's not a See, but now you're, I would but now you're asking for special enforcement. Yes. Right? Now you're asking for I'm, the I'm officer. I'm asking for your car has to be operable to do in your driveway, but if I get a puncture on my way home and park my right. car before I get it to Firestone, I'm probably not going to get a ticket because I'm like, look, I just got a flat tire. Yeah, but you're asking, you for, you're asking for the officer to apply a reasonableness standard when you've specifically eliminated a reasonableness standard from the legislation. Right? That's what you're saying. Ah, oh, I would expect the officer to be reasonable and see that this is a circumstance that was immediately out of my control, but if we write the legislation to say must be on leash, must be on leash. It does eliminate some issues. I mean, when you do that, the problem you've got to take into account, a lot of people have direct control of their animals and want to play with them in the parks and the green right. spaces, yeah. and they're going to take them off the leashes. And so what you're going to have to do is we're going to have to sign everything saying, must be leashed all the time, and that I think that's that's a little problematic. Because if we're saying pick up after your dog, 
And if you don't want dogs and their owners here, which I know there's a few of them want to enjoy the green space, that's what you're going to be enforcing from this point. Nobody's going to be able to take their dog off the lead anywhere. Uh, the exception will be the school's property um, because they can set their own policies on the school property, right? Or any other private property. So that's that's what I would advocate for, um, but I, I know that our I don't know if anybody else has anything they wanted to share on it. I'm trying to find that. I, I uh, right here if you want. Okay, to. yeah, go ahead. So direct control is defined as the following: No owner of any animal shall permit such animal to run at large on any property not his own. The owner shall have the animal securely securely leased or under direct control at all times. And direct control means the animal will come, sit, and stay on command from the owner. I mean, I think that's, that's great, except for when it's not. It still seems like no, it's, it's always active. Yeah. It's always great for when it's not, until it's not, right? I agree. And that's I don't like the language the of, what was it, there was a language in there that I think just takes care of my dog. My dog um, in this group. No owner of any animal shall permit such animal to run at large on any property not his own. If my dog escapes and is running away from me, I am not permitting that. That is not covered by that. I have not permitted that if the dog breaks its leash and runs. That is something I, well, I guess. I think that's oof, that's a whole adjudication of it, right? Yeah. Because I'm thinking I'm getting, because I'm getting I, I some people would argue that you not having a redundancy is a problem, especially if you have an animal that has thrown a leash in the past, right? So, but I, I think that that direct control standard is a compromise I'd be willing to buy in on. But, you know, a 100% leash all the time, I, I, I'll tell you, I'm a, I'm a hard no on that. And David, you were starting earlier, so what does you have to say on that? I am much more in favor of the leash. Um, I, I see a lot of improvement in the direct control standards, but, and I, I don't think I would vote really against an improvement of the direct control, but I still think that my wish list includes the leash as well. I, and again, this is full disclosure, I, I do my best not to be biased, but I, I'm violently allergic to dogs and I don't own them. So, I mean, that's, you know, out there for public record, but I, I am in favor of stronger leashing. Um, that's, that's where I'm at. So that sounds like about two and a half for a leash. <laughs> I, we, of course, don't have costs. Yeah, I'm undecided at this point. Yeah. And okay. I, and it sounds like... My yeah, I can see, I can beyond, see the arguments for sure. Yeah, and beyond my ideological concern is that you are creating a, an ordinance that criminalizes something before there's been a harm. Yeah, well, that is like half of the laws we have in this country are bad. Well, is that, but is that a good thing? Ideologically, I am opposed to criminalize something before there's a harm. It's the harm that should be criminalized. So, I, I yeah, go ahead. No, I was gonna say, I do like the language of direct control. Yeah. I'd be in favor of that. Yeah, I, I think. I think my personal thoughts are I'd rather us change that and see how it goes, see if that's easier to enforce, and if it doesn't, you probably could swing into leashes. Yeah. So, well, yeah. yeah. I think I think most people have some form of direct control, right? Now, the way an officer and the chief explains in front of you next week, but the way I've seen an officer demonstrate direct control. My dog will necessarily listen to someone else, but a really well-trained dog will listen to an officer and they'll test. I've seen it on the Oval done, mm. where an officer will come and say, you know, he was doing a little demonstration. There's a lot of kids let their stuff run. I was no different with my dog. But sometimes that gets out of control, right? And so the officers have leash dogs, all right, whose dog can listen to command, and then he puts the dog through those exact, because it was the city Columbus ordinance, right? That OSU also well follows things. So their own policies, but they have they're within the city of Columbus. So they'll demonstrate those three items. Six, you know, what the other command is. Yes. Yep, yep. yep. And, and the dog, if the dog can do that with the officer's command, it, it is demonstrated direct control. He was showing the students essentially how they would apply it. And so that's how they would do it in the field if they needed to. Right. Um, but most people have some semblance of direct control. I mean, my 
My dog, as an example, he's a little schnauzer, and hopefully he's not, you're not allergic to him. He doesn't shed, but I don't know what your full allergies are. I'm allergic are. to All every them. dog I've ever uh, touched. Every uh, dog uh, ever touched me. I'm so. sorry to hear that's a dander or something, but yep. mm -hmm. but the um, he's pretty good listener, right? He's pretty well trained, and I. I he may lose his mind with a squirrel, that's for sure, mm -hmm. and go after the squirrel. But in a in a social setting with other dogs, he's fine. He'll, he'll listen in common. You know, I, I have decent control, and I, I was a responsible owner. Leash him when I feel he will lose his mind, right? So you know, and I think most people have dogs along those lines, right? They'll take them off under safe conditions. They'll play with them. They'll listen under certain things. If there's a, something that distracts the dog, well, right, I would say most people listen. do not have that. Most people have dogs that will not listen. But my dog doesn't listen. Like yeah. That. No. You, you would be surprised if some some a lot of people dogs listen fairly well, but yeah. not not purely in the best. You know, they're not fully trained. I think to listen to an officer in the field. Mm -hmm. There's only a few I've seen can do that. So that's the standard. That's how it'll be applied. I, I I tend to agree that you you maybe want to go in steps, just like we do in traffic control or anything else. I think that's a good way to go. Well, and with council person Tresta not here, and this being sort of her. Uh, big thing. I think we'll just sort of push that on the edge of the table there. Mm -hmm. And if someone, if Jason or Council President Wolf wants to reach out and say, look, if you look at this direct control with this. Oh, she provides you the, she it was in those that. emails that she handed out to us. That's why I couldn't find it okay. in this. It was from a resident that had emailed. Yeah. Stacey. Uh, so we'll check with that and talk about this, you know, next month or what have you. Yeah. Not going anywhere. Um, that was really all that was on board for legislation as far as like new business item discussing other than going over legislation. What is it? I know we animosity towards dogs for the record. I still pet them and I just wash my hands. But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nobody believes you have any animosity towards dogs. All right. Eric, do you want to start man, going to. over these options? Uh, this is for the facility building um, the options he handed out these flyers last week okay. and then here they are again and we'll let him go over all of them in detail before you start back can I ask one quick question from your perspective part of this consideration was we were waiting on advice from council mm -hmm. to just how much can we alter before it triggers problems and so what is that advice we're going to lead into all that wonderful stuff you so I will start with that. Yes, please. We will. So I'm going to start by saying there are some interesting subtle differences between a charter municipality and a statutory municipality that we run into from time to time. Mm -hmm. This is one of those unique differences of where not having a charter can stick it to you a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and we don't have a full, because our construction council is out today, um, but I had a discussion with Jesse and we're going to, We'll have something for you in writing early next week, probably tomorrow, so once, once Steve Withy, our, our construction council, is back in. The assumption we are going under, though, at this point in time, is that you cannot accept any alternates. And even if they're under 10%, because we, unbeknownst to us, to some degree, I would say full degree, if we had provided an architect's estimate early on, there's some case law here. Right. Okay. For a statutory, and we believe this because it's a statutory municipality issue. I, I let I'm gonna let Steve weigh in on that. That's that's the last piece of this. But we can't if we had provided estimates like the architect provides the main estimate for the bid, when we provide these alternates, probably you could have accepted some of these within the ten percent range, right? That's right now we've got to work under the assumption until Steve fully weighs in on this between tomorrow and Monday that we can't accept any of these. So I'm gonna go over some options of how we move forward on anything you may want to choose, okay? Okay, well, I'm going to start off with saying um, there's absolutely none of these I will approve. Okay. But, <laughs> but we need to know before we worry about how much, yes. whether we can legally do it. Start well, off far negative before yeah. we get to it. So <laughs> let, me, if I may, let me finish, please. Yeah, let okay. me finish Sorry. and I'll so, give two cents on that. Yeah, so, so the alternates are there for, for a number of reasons, okay? Uh, the alternates are there because obviously we knew we were in an odd construction situation, mm -hmm. right? So for example, and, and we just didn't know where some of these would come in at, all right? And we wanted not keep adding to the bid unnecessarily but without giving council some ability to, you know, weigh in on them as, as options, right? 
So many of them are, are good ideas. Staff and the architect got together uh, from a discussion standpoint to, to suggest quite a few of them. Uh, the asphalt shingle is just a normal one because you may want to switch it out to see what the difference is. We wouldn't say that's one you want to accept because, again, Oh, well, I was going to say, except for that one, I want us to keep a good roof. Yeah, the roof, yeah. the roof will last for virtually as long as the rest but of the But the roof is part of the original thing. So yeah. Right, right. you don't have to worry about the alternate in that yeah. case. It's just, oh, it's just for your, your purposes yeah. of seeing it. Sometimes, sometimes we have councils that make a decision regarding shingles. It's interesting, we, we just don't know. So we added in there, all right? Aside from the shingles, all right, other things have certain importance, and that's why they're in there. Um, some of them, as you notice, are uh, like woodland mixed plantings, concrete uh, steppers, which go around the, the structure, those are for both access and for uh, aesthetics, right? These are things you could do at a later date, you can do, you know, they're not something that can be that necessarily related to construction directly. Um, it's nice to do them while everyone's on site, you probably have a little bit of savings while they're here, mm -hmm. uh, but it's something you can definitely do down the road. There are some things that are definitively related to construction and you get a one-time yes. one do. So for example, the glycol snow melt system, this is something we put in there. Obviously you have to do You have to do when, when we put the new concrete down. And there's there's good reasons for it. Where you put them in, you don't use salt anymore. It's an automated system. You don't have a problem with icing up and people clearing the snow anymore. But it saves maintenance, it saves salt, right? That's why it's a, it's, a, it's, it's a big number, you know, for that purpose, but it works. People use them in different different applications. So that's in there because it, we, we knew that was gonna be a big number, so it's definitively an alternate you may want to, your maintenance guy to be out there shoveling snow and take it, you know, do it that way for the rest of the time. That's okay. Police carport is another one that's useful, saves on energy of, you know, how the cars are cooled and keeps the crap off of them so they're ready to go. It's a, it's definitely most police forces have them. This is, I will tell you, this is actually on the cheaper end. This is the cheapest possible carport you can get. <laughs> I've seen, I've done carports and they're, they're expensive. They're, you know, bigger ones are expensive. So this is a good price. I mean, even given our stuff, but it's still 91,000. But it's something, again, that can be done because of the, it's not directly attached to the structure, it can be done at a later date, mm -hmm. right? Uh, the other one here, right. manual transfer switch is one I do want to just quickly go over. Oh, that's the one that... It allows you to switch over to a generator. Correct, it allows to add a manual transfer so the portable generator can be connected to run non-emergency circuits which could be useful in the situations where you may want, you know, I'll give you some examples. Obviously, Minerva Park gets affected by the power outages here, right? Yes. Because you have a bunch of older infrastructure from an electric standpoint, you've got older homes with above wires, you definitely are at risk for people to lose their power. And people don't will necessarily, I, I know people in the new sector, especially when they're putting in their solar systems, are putting in their full house batteries, mm -hmm. okay, which is good. That'll be helpful. But the fact is, and I, I see in other municipalities, power I worked, when we, do, when we redesigned the system there, um, we had a solar system we put in some years ago with the Obama money. Um, we set it up so that we can emergency generate for our, we have a battery backup system, emergency generate for our, and they have a big chamber room. So that when people lost their power in their homes, which happened after ice homes, they could come there for shelter, keep warm, plug in their phones, it was a safe place. So. I will simply tell you that, that the emergency generator that's, that's um, spec for this structure, the, the new structure, will handle emergency circuits, which will, which will be the red circuits, but, but there'll be non-emergency areas, which probably will be your council chamber, quite frankly, which is where you want to hook people into. Do you, do you, do we already have an emergency generator yes. in the plan? Yes. And to my, to my is, knowledge, yes. Okay. That was a discussion point yeah. from the right mayor that we wanted to do for yes. sure. Oh, that's so, good. Okay. Yes. So yeah. definitely there's a, so this is this is to attach another generator that will simply allow for the rest of the building to be powered if necessary. So it does not include the generator though, right? No, it would it's be just a, the yes. switch. Yes. 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 Correct, yeah. correct. But those are you've seen those portable hotbeds yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. But well, that would be enough to yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. That yeah. would be enough to Run the heating and things like that. Yes, everything else. Everything else will be powered depending on the size of the generator. So we can get the specs from the architect for what we would need. Uh -huh. it, you know, I mean, it's, it's it's in there as far as the rest of the right. the usage. You know, so we can. So it would be useful to have. And I think for emergencies that do come up once every few years, boy, it's nice to have it when you. Right. Sure. If you remember back when this area was without power for like a week after uh, what was it, Hurricane Ike or whatever. Yeah. 
right? It would be, would have been really great if this building had a backup generator yeah. and you could power emergency things yeah. by pulling the rip cord yeah. and flipping the transfer switch. Yeah. Otherwise, you wind up having to run extension cords from the generator yeah. and that's a big, that's right. a big problem. Imagine, imagine with the heat waves and the, uh, the cold snaps we have, and throughout for a week, a lot of people are suffering. And then they're going, it's nice to have some place where people who are really needed can come, elderly and otherwise, right. for emergency yeah. purposes. To heat, to cool, right. to charge devices. Yep. These are all things that we could do. A while in the winter time, I remember, a couple days. I feel like it might have only been two or three days, but there was a winter that it was really. And I don't remember the winter one. Uh, yeah. Can you remind me? The new building? Yes. Is it, are doing multiple units, AC units? We do. We have several zones. We're obviously keeping our existing one downstairs, okay. but it'll be just for, you know, with, with, it's thing? not designed for the additions that we're putting on. So there'll be additions to handle the extra load okay. on, on both sides. So the new space will probably be in its own. Oh, yeah. So as well down here. You know, when yeah, they do that. Yeah. So to revisit what you said, are we through all of them or is there no, one no, more? No, there's one more. Go ahead and do yours. Yes, yeah. ma'am. Let's finish one. So, so that one, that one's that you have to do with construction. Otherwise, it's much more expensive right. when the electric has got to come back and cut things apart and remove. So I would just say that's one to seriously consider. The other one to seriously consider, and it can be done two ways. Um, I think for your purpose, especially as a small community, and, and it was my suggestion, so I'll take credit for it, your electronic message signboard, I think it's very important and it's very useful to have the electronic section of the message board because it's programmable. You can put up your meeting announcements. You can put up all your announcements. Communities, small and large, use them, and they're it's, it's nice to have. So, and I, I would think it, you know it just it adds to your communication, right? Um, it's something that has to be done when your monument signs put in. It's not that it can't be done after, but it is it is a significant larger expense to do this thing later. The other thing you could do, and and I'll, I'm going to segue a little bit into. Right now, we can't add necessarily, unless Steve says otherwise, we can't necessarily add alternates to your ordinance. But what we can do for anything that you may want here is we would, since there's time to do this still, it's not like anyone else is necessarily going to pick it up, but we could rebid any of these particular items under a certain time frame. And then everyone would have the option, you know, just for the specific alternates, there'd be an estimate provided by the architect, we'd meet all the requirements. So anything that you did want, even if we couldn't add it on Thursday. And we, by the way, there's also a change order. I'm, we're we're going to get rulings on change orders. Yeah. Change orders you can do, but there is some, but since we've already listed these as alternates, in this particular case, we may not be able to change order them either. So we may just have to go through a process to add anything you want. So go ahead. Um, in that thinking, yes. um, legal advice on if we, could we structure each of these as their own project? Good. Uh, and in that case, then they wouldn't even necessarily need to go out to bid, except for the carport and the glycol. Yeah, any of the snow. Yeah, any of the bigger any ones. Yeah. Any of the bigger ones. Oh, you're right about that because they would yeah. fall above. Because all the other ones are right below the bidding threshold. Oh yeah, yeah. So, Good so point. the only ones that, if, and again, I would, I would really want legal we'll counsel to opine on that yes. because that is. That's the kind of chicanery that gets gets council people put in jail. We don't want to do that. And I would rather not have that happen. I like all my council people. Yes, and, um, I, like, yeah, I like me not in jail. Yes, that's priority number one. Agreed. Um, that was so, very nice. Well, I, I'm just being honest. Okay. Right? I also avoid not being incarcerated. Yes. Yeah, so read, read my press. I nobody know. ever and nobody ever that's accuses true. me of being honest or being nice. On. So, understood. We'll, yeah. I spoke to Jesse today. When Steve, this is going to be on Steve's list first thing tomorrow. We'll get something. They're going to, the attorneys are going to prepare something. We'll probably have to accept they'll prepare something for all of counsel to read concerning okay. alternates, these alternates specifically, mm -hmm. how we handle them if we can't accept mm -hmm. them on Thursday and change orders. Yeah. In general. So, he is going to give us the change orders yes. because that's one of the, uh, so I don't want to skip too far into this, but change orders is very important. It is. Um, when we were talking on, with finance, it would have been nice if we would have put on, and I'm saying this for everybody, on legislation, if it's 3.153, if we could have put 3175, just for the simple fact of having that little cushion for change orders. Hmm. So I don't have to come back to them every four minutes and say, we want something to uh, it up. You, so yes, um, we, we can change that number if it's, if that's if we're still it's, under the 10%. Yes. 
That yeah. was my question. We just so show, we have so a 10 we publish, uh, just the legislation yes. to that 10 percent limit. You should definitely add a 10 percent contingency right. above and beyond what the final bid is. Yeah. That's fine because things happen, and you are allowed That's, you are allowed to do change orders as long as the change orders are not like a whole new like if you change order this whole thing and yeah. said we just want a single standing building now that's a no-no from a change order right. if you change order even if it's a large piece if you said hey add me a uh, shed outside and the shed costs sixty thousand dollars you're okay still because it's within the scope of the project and it's it's, it's within putting that, that in, same contract putting that in around the, the right. so, studio, like the roof right. and yeah my concern so you just want to get too crazy in the, yeah. yeah so so let me sum up what yep. I've heard so far, and then we can try to push this forward. Yes. That we, there are methods by which we can accomplish what any or all of these things. Yes. So now let's go through each one of these individually and see if among this subset of council there is an appetite enough to continue pursuing any or all. Can I ask one really quick question? No. Yes. It's, 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 yeah, it's, it is, I know we're going to get to it, but for example, on the deduct for asphalt compared to metal mm -hmm. we're saying at this point in time you're getting a metal roof and there's not a darn thing you can do about it and right. i'm only saying that for the record because there mm -hmm. uh, that was one of the big things that i can't believe you guys are getting a metal roof um it's so i'm saying that now work. that we're stuck with a metal roof right now. 10 years yeah right. now roofs last about 30 35 year shingles so my my father's mm -hmm. done it for a long time you can still yeah. get them Standard. Anyways, not arguing that. I was just asking $55,000 for a metal roof is what some people have said, and I was not in favor of a metal roof. I'm just the, going there. I, I think the standard replace cycle it's about 25 is, years. Uh, is 15 to 20. Yeah. Mm -hmm. is, yeah, not your, your insurance totally gets totally depreciates the roof in 15 for a lot of people you need a particular place in 15 to 20 normal asphalt. again i just want to say it for the record at this point council doesn't have the ability to not do a metal roof yeah yes so and just in case people don't like you for that you know, no, we, do, we could adopt you know, could change order or do something else but based on what we're well discussion, and right. i think that's a great question about the change order that's what i wanted to say about the change order when we i think again for record purposes if there's something that they can't get material wise Correct. that's where my that's where our concern our came contract in contract allows for us to you you're, what you'd have to do so the contract the way the contract's written allows for um us to work with the vendor in this case the contractor right. to because we, we anticipate that we're going to run into problems oh, yeah. right but anything that's above and beyond perhaps what council allocates yes you have to go about the council and explain right. what happened and get them to go along just like, right. just like just like when the school had to go back and they had to put oh, on a yeah. temporary roof for thirty thousand. They go back to the board for approval because exactly. it's a hot mess out there, right? No, that's so. that was my concern with the change order. So that's kind of why I wanted to make sure is everybody okay that legislation actually says thirty one seventy five for small change orders. We're obviously not doing a thirty thousand dollars check. I think we can add. I think to be safe, my recommendation is we take that number and you add anywhere. I, I mean, normally we in construction we add ten percent. Where if you're, if you're comfortable, I would say five percent. But I would say you should add some percentage to whatever the final bid number is here. Wait, was. where are we on? The, th the thresholds where we couldn't approve. So, so th thresholds. So that that's not that's not the issue. The alternates just simply can't be added because they perhaps weren't estimated right. correctly. So they they can't be they would be brought under if they were allowed. I, I know there's several things we're talking about here, but if they were allowed, they would come in under whatever the 10 percent rule is, right. right? From the original numbers. The original okay. number that with the posted number is 2.95. So you add 295 thousand to 2.95 million. Right. Okay. That's your full 10 percent. Which is what. Uh, I think that's where I'm going. I just want to so, make sure it's not over so that. Yeah. So that number. Well, it's that's three point two six. Yeah. So so you so if okay that's what so, I so if you were to accept if you were allowed to accept any of these alternates if you were allowed you would have to accept the ones that fit underneath that okay. that number that we just did okay. three point whatever number. okay now. A contingency fund is totally, totally separate different. of this. That okay. is when you run into change orders and you have issues in the field. That's and that's what that's what council has a discretion to allocate to the project to say, all right, we accept the bid for three point one five three million and we're gonna add seven percent for contingency, whatever number you want to stick okay. in there that we you know, that way we can do something. You know, anything beyond that, come back to see us. Well, we're in a council meeting. Does anybody, uh, this is not a vote thing. Do you guys want to discuss the percentage? Do you guys want the, the admin to decide the exact amount or a percentage? How would you guys like to handle it? I think that 10% sounds like the right target. Because right. I don't want to put something in that makes people not want to. Okay, so we will add that line. That was just something that they wanted to talk about today. Okay, that was my only point. 
So I'd love to kind of go through these a little yes. bit. Yeah, yeah. I think that's, that's the next step. step. I, that's I that's where I was yeah. trying to get us to. So, so I had to know the answer to that. The legislation. Okay. How do you want to do this? Hey, just just, just, just start the first one. Yeah, go. So um, is that bid price, does that have a metal roof on it to match the other roof? Is my first question. But I can't tell what it looks no, similar. I think I would be we'll verify that. Okay. I would venture to guess that's a no, but I could be wrong. So okay. I mean if there are suggesting that we put shingle on the rest of it i imagine their price for this it may be it may be more it may not be the same it could be like it's a different quality perhaps it looks metal but it's not but it's still metal but not the same as they put on this yeah. roof so, so it's perhaps so that's a question we'll right because i think you know would they match right yeah. mm -hmm. um and does that affect the price i, I think yeah. the bigger question because is I, do we need or want to go I, around <laughs> i i'm I don't, so here's, here's what we know, right? We know that it would help keep the, the cars nicer, right? It would keep, keep the elements off the vehicles. It would keep them cooler in the summer so they don't have to, you know. You spend as much gas to keep Spend as much cool. gas, though I don't know how yeah. much gas that really is. You probably need a lot of gas to it make out 90 out. grand, yeah. but it is, it is nice. This this is not one that I would would die for in any way, shape, or form. And I will say, uh, you know, keeping the cars nice is nice, but we cycle through our patrol, patrol cars once every four years. Yeah. It's yes, not yeah. like, oh, they're going to be, you know, if you don't have a carport, they're sitting out in the sun, the paint's peeling and cracking. We cycle through them every four to yeah, five uh, years. They don't have a chance to get old, uh, even in our weather. An annual waxing would, would probably do just as much as a carport yeah. for that purpose. And you know, ninety thousand dollars is a lot of gas worth. Of, I really had to rev the engine to get the AC to kick in. <laughs> and I don't have a carport and park in my drive, so you know, there's yeah. also that. I mean, the vehicles are running all the time. They are. So, yeah. and, you know. well, or one is one vehicle always is running yeah. all the time. Anytime, anytime an officer is on duty. Right. So if there's three officers on duty, there's three cars running. If there's two cars, yeah, they because they if they get a call, they just have their own. They all have their own, they don't all have their own car, but whoever's on shift has their own yeah. car, I guess. I mean, um, the nice part from what it looks like is they are actually much closer to the door than they were, um, which makes it nice too, just when you're mm -hmm. going, when you have prisoners or yeah. bad people and you're bringing them into the building and all that kind of stuff. Well, whether you have a parking lot or not, you can put the cars as close to the building as you can yeah. with, a, with, a, with a carport. And I will say, I you know was on my scooter the other day and it started to rain, and I was right next to Glendon and sat in their carport <laughs> for is five there, minutes for the rain to stop. Is there any reason from our police department that this would be something that's necessary? Is I, this a want from them? I would is definitely say it's a want. Okay. I mean, I, I don't want to speak for the chief. I don't want to speak for the officers. I think, you know, I, at this point, I think it's one of those things. It's kind of like every one of these alternates, it would be nice. I think if, it, um, if it were a need, it would have been in the initial design, right? Correct. Because they were, they, were, they were heavily engaged in the programming right. of that it's, design. It's definitely a want. Well, um, yeah. it's, in the, it's in the alternates. It's the only alternate that the police department gave. Um, so it's definitely a want. I think, you know, again, it would be nice. It would be nice to be able to not get into a car that's 100 degrees when you're wearing all of the uniforms and all that kind of stuff. And it, 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 it's a nice feature to have. So I think it's one of those things that I think they're all thrilled that they might actually get a building. So this is a great want, or, you know. Yeah, well, but, I mean, I think the other thing is, is uh, And it's something we can easily add now, if it costs ten thousand dollars more five years from now, we might have more money five years from now. Yeah. So I think it's one of those things that, again, I think the building is. I don't want to speak for any of them, but I think they are all so excited about the building that would, that would have probably threw them all over the edge. So um, they'll be okay. Yeah, for an extra almost hundred grand. Right. I think that's part of it too. You know, when you start talking about a hundred thousand dollars, there's a lot. I think so, most of them would rather make more money or yeah, you know, all like, that. Yeah, like we might rather have half the price of a maintenance shed mm -hmm. than. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So I, the money's still going to come from somewhere. Yeah. I don't. It, it doesn't sound like anybody is super hot for this. Yeah. I would support yeah. it if we could find a way to make it not financially painful. You know, but, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. hundred grand's hundred grand. Yeah. 
Yeah. All right. So I, I, I'm not hearing anybody uh, asking to adopt this one. So the next one on the uh, going down the line is the electronic message center. No, this is a maybe. I can be convinced. Uh, on yeah. This. I just a, I, a I, I again I don't think this is a hill that I would die on, but I like it. I think that uh, communication with residents is our single biggest feedback point mm -hmm. every single time we ask, and this is a tool that can be used for that. Yeah. Um, How much you know, all, all of that said, you know, tools are only as good as the, how they're used, right. and so that would require discipline in how we do that and, and all of that. I'll set around some examples for you on this, because I think it, it's always useful to see how the communities are using this. I think it's common to see, some years ago they were using one that just had like red LEDs or whatever. Yeah. But, but for this money that you're seeing in front of you today, yeah. that's a that's like that's a, a full color. That's a full color yeah. 4K, not 4K, but 1080p type. You know, it's a very high definition type screen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna you're gonna be able to do a lot on it. I mean, and not just hey, here's my meeting for this evening. You're gonna be able to put with graphics any of your events. Yeah. Yep. You know, you're gonna be able to alter it on a daily. You can pre-program these things with the calendar, and they'll put things out. And they'll also switch, so it won't just be one message per day. You right. can swing different messages on them. Oh, yeah. We have Parks and Rec yeah. stuff. You can say, hey, seconds. happy 4th of July. Right. Hey, we're off tomorrow. You know, hey, hey, hey. Lots of different ways to do that. Hey, and you can also, you'll also be able to work with your partners, i.e. the school, when things go on too. So there's, there's all yeah. kinds of things. I like the idea of it. I'm curious as to where it goes. It goes right I see where it says all two in here, but it's hard. This, this map, so if you look at this yeah. map, where all two is, yeah. that, that line right in the middle where it's like the little rectangle, um, okay. that's the actual location. We can move the location, but yeah. this is the proposed location mm -hmm. up front. It's this little yeah. guy right there. Right, mm -hmm. okay. Do you think that's the street. That's yep. my question. Is yeah. it truly visible oh, yeah. from both yeah. directions? This is a, yeah, this is an eight foot by four foot, uh, 32 square feet okay. plus. You can see it really well, okay. so there won't be any problem with that. With that out there. That's and, the screen itself, right? Uh, three. It's a little. Yeah, it's eight points. It's eight foot six inches. Uh, sorry, three foot. The message board itself oh. is three foot high. Where the yeah, actual that's screen. The, yeah. That's twenty four square feet yeah. plus. So. I'm curious. Um, it's big. I'm, I'm wondering if um, you can scan a QR code on the bottom. Oh, you can. I, but I don't know if the definition's high enough. Well, hold on. The matrix of 40 by 120, 40 lines by 125 columns, I am going to guess that scanning a QR code, because we're not, it's not that, detailed I, unless design. it's full color, right. but it, it is saying, well, it's saying 15.85. Yeah. I mean, that's not a deal breaker for no. me. But, but that would be a cool thing. Yeah. Yeah. by. I think, I think yeah, but 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 I think from a distance you can yeah, see yeah. it. I think actually I think it'll be dependent on yeah. you can't do it close up, but I think from a distance right. yeah. you could scan the QR code box on. I think potentially if you can find that's interesting. if you can find okay. someone local that has what they're recommending, I'd love to. Uh, there's many of examples. I'll, I will work to get you something to see. Yeah. And I'm only gonna throw this in and I'm not again I'll, I'll vote for any of those, so you guys are good, but here's my level two cents. I will tell you that there's people that do not like flashing lights in the village whatsoever. Um, and I actually have multiple complaints about they don't like, by the way. they do not like anything by the streets. They do not like the, that we do not enforce that people leave lights up all year round at the street, like the, what you, I, I, I have public record I can actually show you and I have more than one. Wait, you do? So, street? so like people leave Christmas lights up around their mailbox and they do not like it. And I, I don't. It sucks to be them. Yeah. yeah. I, I so I'm just that. saying you will get, you will have residents that do not like the lights. Uh, look, I, so, I think there's a group. So you may, you may, just if I may. Yeah. Uh, these, by the way, are fully programmable. They have sensors. So with, so they, you can set the power as to far as the lighting power. You can also have timing, so if you want to dim it, you can dim it way down for night stuff. Yeah. You it comes up for to it's fully viewable in sunlight, so it has that brightness to overcome the sunlight. Mm -hmm. But they generally have the ability, especially a good one, they have a sensor. It'll lighten itself down. It'll brighten it up. You can yeah. program all this stuff. Yeah. So, so again, I'm not you don't the, have to make them flash. Yeah, and I'm not the one that doesn't like the. You know, I, I like street lights. I like the fact that it's so dark in here, and I, I trust me that there's always a conversation that people like it dark. 
Um, and I don't. I love streetlights. So I'm just I'm just pointing out that we have received complaints before because they, yeah. they do not like people's things out near the street because well, I will, I will it say this. Them. There are people who are bothered by everything yes. everything in this world. So I have, I have so said before that people would be mad if the village were handing everybody gold bricks. <laughs> I would, I would they would are, they'd rather silver, they'd like, you know, they'd like it in different denominations. <laughs> Look, you know, you know how you're doing it right when at least some people are complaining. Yeah. That's, that's true. And now, at the same time, none of these actually need a decision because we no. can't push them on Thursday. No. But, but we have to get a different... We have to get a, so far, I'm still a maybe. I, I understand it. I think there's going to be a lot of drive safe flashing on there for 60% of the time. Um, because there's just going to be, there's nothing going on. You know, it would be really cool is if you could tie it into a, a speed sensor and, <laughs> and tell a person, I think actually you can hey, do hey buddy, you're going that's too fast. That's a great idea. That's not, yeah. That's a great yeah. idea. I mean, that's the good. problem with that, that just like that. Hey there, buddy, there's, there's a problem. Problem. The problem with that is it's can't. such a short trip from that corner but up there but coming to the other here. Coming the other way, but going down, going uh, east, it's hard to get above 25 you unless you're really trying. Mean, in that 50 yards. Yes. I'm sure we can say no, we can absolutely do it. That's yeah. that's great. So so I think idea. I think number two is one to at least gather additional information. Yeah, I mean, I and and continue to now. pursue. Okay, that was first uh, line, yes. Next down the line is Woodland Mix. Can I ask a question about the electronic board? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Is there any way and again I'm not trying to do change orders and I'm not trying to do this, is there any way to get the electric out? To out yes. to that oh, absolutely. and just leave it alone. And if we did do it in a year or in six months, so or just just run the conduit. So presumably right. so we're going to want to have lights lighting up that sign. So yeah, well, so yeah, there should the be lights out there anyway. This, it, absolutely, absolutely. So so the sign, the foundation, everything will be put in when they do certain stages, okay. right? So the electric will be run when the electrician's doing everything. They'll get all that out there. And you're absolutely right, Mayor. This will be one of the last things that's completed. Okay. It'll be done in a year, anyways. You'll have time to kind of ponder how you want to do this stuff a little bit they they've got it mixed in there you can you have time for your final sign design you have because there's a lot of details on this okay and you know if you guys love the sign and you change your mind it's still it's right. not built you still and not fabricated you can still redo it toward the but it's not going to be the first thing that goes in by any means. I would months imagine months. that the that the graphics are driven by a computer that yes. has to be inside. Yes, correct. So That's most done. the the conduit yes. that runs out there has to Ethernet. has to be there yep. to carry the yep. whatever is carrying the yep. signal out to the side. And if that were laid in advance, then we could you could kick a decision down. Yeah. Yes, you could. Okay. And how much for one of those signs with the arrows and the lights? Plastic letters in that you see at diners. Most of, most of those have been banned, but yes, you can. They're, they're banned by who? Because we're uh, you can do what you want. I'm just saying, you most of them, most of them, I don't think I think I think that's called changeable type. I think our code says that's an if I'm not mistaken. But we can, but we can accept that. You can you can change them too. Yeah, yeah, that's that's yeah. I think we're trying to upgrade, not yes. yeah. And and, and that's going and have, you guys, have you guys ever played around with one of those? Yes. They take some work to uh -huh. do and they'll they'll eat up Barb or whoever pours time into it. It's yeah. easier to program yeah. it and send it out there. They're safe. I'm a hard metal man. <laughs> <laughs> you are. I, I'm an elementary teacher. I've used an Ellis cutter to cut out letters and make signs and billboards before. It's not that hard. You just get out a piece of paper. You write your words. Hired. You count your letters. It's, it's you put. Same. You cut them out. You put them. And that's that's with having to cut out the letters. So it's let still, alone just pull a bunch of ends out of the box. No poor clerk who's worked for you and has enjoyed that particular uh, duty. Uh, and I've been through several where they have those signs. The lowest rung on a ladder <laughs> and had to change one of those two. Signs. Like, and I out. swear to God, if I ever see one again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, all right, all right well, so moving on. We're going to the meeting here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Moving on to Woodland Mix Plantings. So, I'm out of this, this conversation. is all in this area over here, right? Mm -hmm. My concern with any plantings at all is a, is parts in the park. Because mm -hmm. if we have something there, they're using this area over here. Now we have plantings there. Instead, I also so, think we can plan our own wildfires for less than thirty thousand. I'd like to see the mix because this is, to get <laughs> sure. this done right is expensive, and that actually doesn't look like that bad compared. Well, to yes, but this but is the, not, the you know not, you know there's a picture of a Big Mac on a commercial. Uh, <laughs> not even the price. You open it, oh, the price. Okay, I thought you meant the picture. I'm like, yeah, the picture looks awesome. Picture. It looks amazing. 
I'm, I'm just going to go with we have all the natural stuff that we want right over there, and I'm not in disagreeance. We get people that want to do movie night here. We get people that want to do different things, and I think you're taking that away. If this is the only land you're getting ready to use. Uh, I think what you need is the landscaping. Yeah, I mean, so, so if you look, so so what's sorry. so what what if you see what's over here? There is going to be some landscaping against the building. I'm, I was trying to pull the actual plan right. real yeah. quick, and I can send that around um, so people can see. It. I mean, we're already heating up some of that space. You in are the building, so I hate to. Mm -hmm. Further and it looks up, like at least when they more. say where all three is, it's not. I mean, if this was just under the trees, but then that's annoying because it's hard to get things growing with trees. Well, and that's interesting. If it's not where trees are, then that's our grass, and that is our field space. Absolutely. Yeah, that's all that's out there. That's yeah. What, I mean, he, no, he's. I, I have totally agree with that. I, I think the. You don't get a vote. I know, <laughs> but he makes <laughs> a very still, good point. You still have an opinion. But you can I do have an opinion. You have an opinion. You can NPCA vote. uses that space. So yeah. that, well, this brings up a two points. So I think, and that's why I want to pull up the plan, and I'll, I'll get this around. That's an important thing to know because I don't think we. I think they had already planned on doing some landscaping out there, Mayor. Which is, if you notice, the, oh, yeah. the mulch beds grass was already in the base pit, so there was already some plans to do some stuff out there. Now, maybe just be against the building as shown. See, I was thinking it was just against the building when we. I, I think I see yeah, it on that plan. I, I want to double check because yeah. if it's going to impact your area you're talking about, then there may need to be a, I mean, a, a change. I mean, the what, three feet wide? I don't think Potentially. That's, I don't think that's yeah. going to do anything out there. Okay, if no one's hugging the building on those my, things. My biggest problem with this one is that with the world and the state that it's in right now, I have a hard time imagining the what and the where. And I do think that it's a good idea, and it seems like it's the right, potentially the right stuff, but I do think this is something that isn't directly coupled to construction. It is something that, you know, once once the site is in a place where we can say that is where we want our our what is, our woodland mix, mm -hmm. we could make a plan at that point in time and woodland mix it up right. without you know without committing to anything this early in the game. Yeah, and I know more than three people who have successfully had it. Gives me various woodland mixes and natural things, either in their own yards or around the village. And oh, yeah, we've, we've got tons of wildflower, flower, ferny, you know, yeah, in our yard. I, I get yeah. that it's not, but having it done in a sustainable way with a plan and a is good. I am for that. I just think that this is one that is good to remember for next spring when the site is you know as torn up as it's going to be and then we can you know put our put our which is the nice thing we've already gone in and you know, the torn up site will help reduce things like bush honeysuckle or yeah. the other bases out there i mean it is true i can see what you're saying about it not being directly construction related i just I don't know either. Yeah. In my in my mind, it's it's part of our responsibility to lead by example into the future. Is that you know we really recognize and begin to repair the environmental damage that so many um, you know decades prior to us have done, and and, to, and some continue to this day. So I'd be I don't more know. in favor of spending money like this on the reserve areas for right. wildflowers in some place like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know, I can see that for gardens, sure. Gardens, things like that. But as far as this building and the uses of this building, I'd, yeah. like, to, I'd like to keep the options open for people to use that space. That we get people space. that cut through there every single day, yeah. all day long, hmm. next so, to my window. So, so that's how they, there's, there's a path that goes through there. Hmm. Not that it's still going to be there. I'm just saying. Yeah. I just don't know if this space is the right space for it. Oh, I totally maybe, maybe not that whole area, but we definitely, when we consider the landscaping around the building, I, I firmly believe that we need to continue, different. or we'll look at natives. Yeah. 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 No, this, okay. this specifically says areas west of the building. So, okay. we're so no, one's, no one's in favor of that. Let's move on. To well, no, no, David is very much David in favor of that. And, 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 oh, and yes. I think oh. we're all I know when I was in favor of the idea. Yeah. Just it needs a different application. So yeah, we want to revisit it. I think none of us have any appetite for shingles. We can't uh, talk about it anyways. Why do you we can't. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> we could absolutely do that. There are ways we could do it. Because then that would free up 55 grand to swap out elsewhere. Yeah. Right? It reduces the. Yeah. 
this is, I mean, that's, that's like, the other stuff is, like, stuff, like, outside of the building. Like, this has to be, this is in the building, like, on the building. No, that's, so, it, where there's a will, there's a way, there's a lot of stuff. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I don't think there's but a will. Well, one on nice metal roof that'll last 50 I, years. I will, I will throw the shade and say that able roof. I wouldn't have called them in my life depending tells on you, Tells you roofs last uh, 12 to 20 years. Yeah, yeah well, mattress well, factory tells you your mattress will last three to five years, and that's just what they sell mattresses. You're just not using mattresses enough. You can only sleep hours so hard. Yeah. Okay, Moving let's on. move on. I know, but, uh, <laughs> uh, manual transfer switch, I I think this uh, is is important. Yeah. I it's think... Especially how much we've gone yeah, out in the way. Yeah. The way that power goes out around here, the way that uh, you know severe weather is only going to be getting more severe in this world that we live in, mm -hmm. it is it is the kind of thing that if we want this building to be operable in in those times, this is it goes a long way. I I only don't have it in my house because you know dealing with the 240 main scares the bejesus out of me, and I'm too cheap to pay someone to do it in my own house, but. I, you know, mixing it into this project, I think, is the right thing. And it's more construction. It, the argument's much sounder for construction. Yes, yeah, with new construction. Uh, I suppose we have choices here, but are we, is this a brown roof, a black roof? Or? Well, right now, I believe, and I'm sorry, it's pulling the plants down. I think you chose, you guys chose a color scheme. Oh, that's right. It's up yeah. here. We went with the mid century modern. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's not on that one. I do remember it now. There was a two. Exterior yeah, color choices. I'll verify what that says. I forgot. Was roof on that? It, it was all part of the same scheme. Okay. Yes, okay. it was. I can find it. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, pursuing transfer switch. Okay. Um, and then we next up is. Well, yeah, you, wait, you say you like the transfer switch. I don't know if you heard from me. Well, Jason said yes. It sounded like I saw. I thought I heard a, a positive statements from David. Yeah. In. in you know, you hit the nail on the head going forward, whether patterns will be more erratic, stronger, and more damaging. So, I mean, if we're considering a building, you know, if we built a roof to last, you know, in well into the middle and possibly later years of this century, the weather ain't going to be very pretty when we get there. Mark, do you have an opposed Um uh, Well, you know, at only 35, I can live with it. I, the, it's another one I don't think. I, I, I understand the idea of inclement weather and people taking advantage here. I don't. Know. Well, it's not even just people taking advantage here. It's it's the utility of the building in that yeah. time, right? Yeah, so if the power goes out, out, we certainly don't want our police department or the emergency response for the to, yeah. to shut down or the. But that's not that. I mean, because there's a generator system for emergency stuff. Yeah, I'm going to say, I would imagine lighting. enough for the police to operate. Well, there'll, there'll be things that we can still plug in, like we need to charge radios, if we need to have some mm -hmm. computers Not running. The there'll, be, there'll, be okay. some, there'll be some ability to do that. Yeah, um, that's because that this wasn't for an additional generator. I figured we had an emergency backup yeah. for the essential things yeah, like right, the police. Right. So this is but not this is, to make that. This is not just that, that would be that would be basic. So so yeah. this will be needed. So this could be used for keeping the building heated and yes a and, and AC and and make it yeah. usable by staff and the public in an emergency. Yeah. So yeah, which is key. But no, I, I could I could go for that. Uh, I know we didn't get to this yet, but uh, should should the uh, desire of council be to put the snow melt system in, would it power that? Would it potentially? Snow? I mean, it all depends on what. And I'm going to go back and have a discussion. I, 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 have an idea. I have an idea. If you're spending yeah, we'll 30000 then there's other ways to... Like having a heated floor in your house. Yeah. So, so, yeah, it, it, it's a, and there's a picture of it, I thought. You can see what it looks like. Yeah, I'm sure it's electric. So, so it's similar to what you would do, because I really want to do one when I redo my bathroom. I want to do an under the yeah. floor here. Yeah, it's usually water. water. Yeah, yeah. yeah, correct. The, this, is, this is a different system. This is so... The glycols, think of it as an antifreeze type yeah. fluid. So it okay. goes in there and it keeps it, it, it you know, it, it pulls that, so it heats it out, uh, pulls the cold away. It's still liquid that's pumped through. Yes. Yep. Okay. Yes. yes. And that'll allow it to, that'll allow it to keep that nice and clear. And so. glycol, glycol systems are very good at maintaining a temperature. They're not as good at, you know, rapid 
temperature change. No. So you know when when you see the storm system coming, yeah. you would turn it on so that as the snow starts or the the, the ice condition starts, it never has a chance to to, to see. It doesn't go yeah. from cold I mean, to wow, yeah. this is cold. And, and I know we skipped over number six, but since we're talking about it. Um, <laughs> I like the thought of this in conjunction with the generator. Yeah. But without that, you know, I mean, yeah. like it's it's nice, it's great, but it's it's a useful free. thing to do. It's, yeah. it's, a, it's expensive, so yeah. it's a so it's, a lot of money so that is. someone doesn't have to shovel. It is I, I, four I, or five times a year. Yeah, like what's, uh, what we see them used a lot is when we. I'll give you a good example. So when we've got guys working on on trucks. Mm -hmm. And they're in a garage on a concrete floor, and you don't want your guys freezing on their backs every day for eight hours. Okay. They use them for things like that, and yeah. especially winter changes when the doors have to be open and it's freezing. So that's where you see applications to keep people comfortable. This is right. this is a useful thing, but it is a pricey useful thing. Right. Yeah. And is that all, all of the exterior sidewalks to break? I know is, that what, is that what's covered for ninety thousand dollars? I mean, yeah, is that all of the sidewalks? All of the sidewalks, to my knowledge, is covered all in front, and they're all being replaced. Yeah, everything's all down. It looks like there's everything up front that goes on the roof. I can see it as wet. Three or four up front. Yeah, we don't. need to spend ninety thousand dollars to have to shovel our sidewalk. So yeah, it's all, it, it's everything, it's everything, it's all the sidewalk on the plant. All the sidewalk on the plant. I mean, I like what he was saying, like, hey, some some loading bays and stuff where the people yeah. are on the floor use them because otherwise you have people, you know, lying then, down on the forty degree cement. Yes, everything, everything I mean, should be, it is. So, the, 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 so, no, and, and to give you an example, give you an example of the one I was using before. That glycol system cost, and this is pre-COVID, cost that gentleman like three hundred fifty thousand dollars to put because of the amount of concrete and the size of the vehicles. So you're getting you're getting a price. I mean, it's not bad even post-COVID for that. It's more than it probably would have been pre-COVID. Well, yeah. everything's. But I get it. I mean, like because on it's this it just says seven, which is just the main sidewalk lighting up to it. It's not all the other. Well, seven is if unless you, unless I unless it, seven looks like. That main sidewalk coming it says, up that does break. This alternate impacts oh. all new sidewalks in the front north, north of the building. Yeah. So all new sidewalks in this the front is north. All the sidewalks. So Everything. just the sidewalks, not any of the parking spots. Yeah. No, no, not the parking but spots. But the park the, the sidewalk that goes to the parking lot. And yeah. all the, the sidewalks. Props, I mean obviously not the old section down right. here they're not gonna do uh, it. everything everything out there is getting yanked out. Yeah. Everything's getting replaced. So all the new sidewalks out there, everything you see on this plan it's is glycol. Well, yeah, no, I was talking about the walking trail where the parking is now. No, no, not that. Yeah, yeah, that's that's all I'm saying is the yeah, old yeah. thing. It's, yeah. it's, it's, you know, I'm sure like if you break it down. Later. No, you have to pull the bricks. Yeah. You have to pull everything. Yeah, you couldn't yeah. do it. You, you can't pull. do it later. It's yeah. an hour now. Yeah. But, you know, and I'm sure I if you think about it in like a per square foot mm -hmm. thing, it's probably not that much per square foot. This is this definitely yeah. this this tickles the the edge of luxury yeah. and I, I, I that's more than I don't think it is it is definitely in my dreams yeah. for you know when I redo my concrete driveway but even even at that it's just my dreams like I is there and you know, there's something else to ponder on if you want go ahead sir well, I was going to say is is there a compromise where there's certain Parts of the sidewalk that maybe we put this in and not the whole thing, or is it well, just it's a, I, what, what I'll say on that is, it's a, it's a scale issue, right? So there's a certain, and I have the architect opine on this, but what I'll tell you is that it's you already you've got to pull wire, you got to pull the system out there and stuff, yeah. and there's a and base that, expense. exactly, and, and, and at that point where you're expanding a little more, it's really not that big of a deal. Okay. What I'm just going to tell you is that all that sidewalk out there, you will someone will have to clear it and as you know and i don't know no one here knows because you're all going to make the decision how you're going to create your maintenance team in coming years and how this is handled um, but you know it's much more sidewalk with this structure now than it was as it yeah. exists yeah. and someone's going to have to do it and there's time doing that versus however else we're dealing with things in the village so again there is a there is a cost of labor every time we have to deal with it January and February. Well, maybe we can invest in a snowblower. Yeah, yeah. I'll give you guys way way cheaper to invest in snow. I would say you get a snow joke. And uh, well, 
you know, a, a plow for the UT, a yes. UTV. Yes. Uh, a, I'm with you. you know, they made yeah. these the brushes, uh, yeah. the brushes the brush nice. that you can brush all that oh, yeah. and yeah. Right, it's not nice. Right, I'm not gonna, yeah. right I'm there's... Not all right, so we, we, killed, we killed these snow belts. Yeah. 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 Yay. Now, yeah. six, yeah. this is the only one I supported. The pavers? Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I myself as well. And now, at the same time, I'm like, well, we can probably do it later, but at the same time, it's probably cheaper because they're going to be here yeah. with concrete. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, we can do an extra set of stairs. We're already here. We got a truckload. Yeah. Right. We're not going to get it done that cheap yeah. I later. I think there's, yeah, it, it will make that side of the building just more useful. It's, it's yeah. very useful. You get people around to the back, especially when you're in the back. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's that. That's yeah. that's an open because I mean how can we pay for those yeah. tiny yeah. little steps? If anything, put them on that the just wasn't part of the original design. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know why, like, but it's the point. Tiffany, how much are we paying for the little steps we have out there? Seven thousand. Yeah. yeah. So this 6, is 000. this looks to be bigger and cheaper than what we did because once no, again they're already yeah. on site and they're already pouring concrete they already have all that and it's a quick easy thing. So does this just does this just Steps coming down, or does this go? Does this connect up to the front? Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, uh, it looks like, like it connects to the front. Yeah. Yeah. Like, um, it's not clear. So it just says between the lower south lawn and the upper west lawn. So is it just the well, the upper west lawn would be here, and that would be the oh, lower. Yeah. Right. What are we talking about? South lawn. So it would connect to. It's going to go, go to the it's side. It's going to connect. Yeah. No. No. Absolutely. We we had this discussion with them, and that's why it's on here as Melton. It's going to go from the sidewalk around the building okay. and then interconnect to our stuff back here because we have stairs that go to the future deck. Yeah. So it's going to connect to that point so that people yeah, can no. make their way around the building yeah. back to the line. Yeah, that's yeah. a that's a that's an easy one. Yeah. Yeah. That's an yeah. easy yes. Yes. We added a yes on five and seven, and we're still a maybe on two. No, seven was a hard no. Seven was alternate glycol. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Five and six. Five, five and six. Five and six were yeses. Six. Five and six were yeses. Two and was still a heart. Was still a no. The electronic maybe. message center. We we asked for more. Yep. And then David asked me for some specs on the alternate yeah. three. So I'll yeah. Because I mean, while we're tearing everything up. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to rent. To me, it's, well, to me it's modular and frankly more. Um, you don't have to rent. We can just put down grass. Where are all the bees? Where are all the butterflies? Oh, look at that! My my acres of grass. Uh, I don't know that this is a good place for butterflies and stuff. It's not. Butterflies sun. come everywhere. Mm -hmm. Where, just, flowers, and most of them are in my backyard and front yard because I have tons of flowering pollinators because you know I do. Oh, and I don't yeah. disagree that the whole that there should be some space for events. Absolutely. All right, get with people tomorrow. Yeah. And, uh, that, that, was, that was what we were looking to accomplish. Does Very anybody good. have any uh, old business? New business? Move uh, to adjourn. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, any uh, opposed? Abstentions? All right, let's get out of here. That's all. You guys are my social life. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I need it. Oh. I'm going to take you out some more. Uh, uh, okay. Don't take me out too much. Get him drunk. I am a delight. Uh, he is a delight. He is a delight. No one will let him play anymore. Oh, yeah. Very nice. 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 Very uh -oh. They left our order at the church, but either somebody took it from the church, like the picture shows it's at the church, so I just told them to go to the church because I can see that it's at the church. Mm -hmm. It's gone. Uh -huh. Except um, it was $65. Ooh. Oh. I, I hate reporting it, you know what I mean? It's yeah, like, it's like, it's like sucks, but it's not there. <laughs> 65 bucks is more than, uh, more than what... Considering the fact it's already overpriced. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. So I got a package that needs to go to FedEx. Can I just give it? Oh, it's already got the label. Can I just? Don't tell that before. No, my my work laptop started 
Uh, What's the that mean? So they, you know, they ship me another one with the label to return so, it. Um, they, I should do another laptop. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. They, they have to send ours in, and then they have troubleshooting. Yeah. And they send it back to us. In fact, yeah. I can even report like so, catastrophic. Yeah. like, yeah, the fans are making so, awful yeah. noises. Yeah. Just, um, just ship you another one. Here you go. They, you know, they do all the setup. I think the only thing I screwed up was like, yeah, I don't need anything special. And then I realized. Oh,